Hi everyone, welcome to Creatively in Tune. Today I uh, will be doing a tutorial on a look I created. Um, I was inspired by a picture that I had seen of this gorgeous, gorgeous parrot. And I figured why not try and incorporate all the colors a parrot has into one look. So, so far I have one eye done. I have blues, orange, yellow, slightly bit of green, and then red on the bottom with a simple liner. Um, so I will be creating this look for you as fast as I can. Um, it's not a long process, so hope you enjoy. If you want to see how it's done, stay tuned. Okay, so first we're going to begin by putting the milk pencil on our eye. I have my NYX milk pencil, Jumbo. And we're going to apply it all over the lid. So, I'm just going to do this quickly. Because even a look like this does not take that long to do. Now I'm going to extend it out a bit here. That's where our red is going to go. Okay, make sure you do under the lid as well. On the bottom lid, I mean. And round the inner edge. There we go. So we got our extension here for our red and then everything else for the color. Usually I like to blend out the milk pencil, but this time for to make the colors more bright or more intense, I guess. Um, I'm not. I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay, so first we're going to begin with our orange. So with any sh eyeshadow blush, uh, brush or flat brush, you're going to take your orange. I'm going to use more of a pumpkin orange. And I'm also using all my colors from my beige cosmetics palette. Okay, pack that in there. Also the brush. And we're just going to pat it into our inner corner. You really want to get an intense orange in the inner corner. A little bit more. Okay, and then we're going to bring some of that to the bottom. And that's why I rounded the edge there. Okay. Now, with also a flat brush, we're going to use a yellow. I used sunny yellow. And we're just going to pat that into the center of our eye. Okay, once we've packed that in there. Also bring a little bit of the yellow on the bottom. A little bit more. Okay. Now, 
we're going to add a bit of green. I'm going to use that one right there. More like a leafy green. Mind you, all of the names I'm giving these colors are not their real names. I am. Um, I try and match them as close as possible to what I think they look like. Um, these colors did not come with their own names, so I try and match their color by names that I know of other products. Okay. Now, usually I would use my blending brush to uh, blend on my colors. But this time I'm going to use my flat brush. I'm going to add a little bit of the same yellow that we have in the center. The reason being is because since I've already done this eye and I only have one blending brush, which is a big no-no. You should have more than one blending brush. Um, it already has a lot of blue in it and I do not want to mess up my eye. I still have yellow on my brush. Now all I'm really doing is just mixing the colors. On the edge. I don't want to bring all of the color in, you know what I mean? Just the edge. Okay. Now, not the tricky part, with a pencil brush, or as close to a pencil brush as you have, I'm going to add a blue. Now it's like a, it's a little bit lighter than a royal blue. Okay, now we're going to add, we're going to start here and bring it all the way up now try not to go too far down see how I left that space there that's for a red so make sure you leave that space there on the bottom and you're gonna bring it all the way to the center just above the yellow because as you start um, blending it with the brush you're gonna still be able to pull some of that blue down all the way to the edge. So with your brown brush, start blending away. See how you're able to pull it down? Okay, now as I'm blending, I'm also blending upwards because I also want to bring um, the blue up. See how I have it on this side? I want to create that same arch, I guess you could say. Now if you need a little bit more blue, just dip your blending brush into your blue. And work your way until you get the blending just the way you want it. Okay, now we're going to do our highlight. So with another flat brush, okay. I'm going to use a white 
Alright. And apply just above the glow. Okay, and I'm just going to wipe my blending brush a little bit, because I don't want to take out all the blue. And on the edge of the blue and the white highlight, we're going to blend, just to smooth it out a little. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more white to my brush. Okay, now to get the same deep intensity that I have here on this eye, we're going to take the same pencil brush that we used for the blue, tip it, and go back into the crease with your blue. So you get it just how you want it. Again, it's all about preference. How much intensity you like. How much of which color you like. Okay, so. That brush again. I'm going to use an intense red. Like a hot red. Hot tamale. Now I'm going to apply that to our edge here. I want to make sure you go as far out as the other eye. And just look in the mirror here. Also go a little bit more in. Mm. Okay. Let me just blend this edge here a little bit. It's driving me nuts. Okay, that's better. Now we're gonna do our eyeliner. To me, this is the trickiest part. I always mess up the liner when I do this look. Never fails. I'm using a liquid eyeliner by Elf, um, black. Okay, so now I have my eyeliner done. I'm gonna apply now a water, a water uh, proof eyeliner. This one is from Avon, um, Glimmer Six, Blackest Night. Oh, sorry, I feel like sneezing, but I don't want to sneeze. Um, I'm gonna apply this to my bottom lid, my bottom water lid. Okay. Now we're going to curl our eyelashes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I'm going to apply mascara. Falsies Volume Express by Maybelline. I like drama.
Okay, while we let that dry, I'm going to do my eyebrows. And with an angle pencil, oh, angle pencil, angle brush, small one, I'm going to apply black eyeshadow to fill in the brows. I'm going to set them with a brow, uh, brow gel, which I also got from Avon. It's a clear brow gel. It also helps the, the shadow last longer. Hopefully it holds the gel in place and it holds the hair in place. Kind of made the other one look longer. Okay, there. Well, they're both the same leaf. Okay, now that we gave our eyelashes a chance to dry, mascara, I'm going to crimp again, which is why this one looks so much more curved than this one. At this point, you could just go ahead and apply false eyelashes, but um, I'm not going to. I honestly find putting on fake eyelashes a hassle. And unless it's something big like my birthday or holiday, I don't really wear false eyelashes. Or like it's something that the look really demands it. And that's our look. So, here's how it looks up close. Now, I'm just gonna finish the rest of my face and see how everything goes with that. Now, last time I had done um, this look, I had done my lip screen. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to see how it looks if I were to do my lips red. If not, then I just, just you go with a new lip and lip gloss. But since I'm in the mood to be daring, I'm going to go ahead and do a red lip. I'm fresh out of liner though. It's like, I don't have a red liner. I usually like to line my lips first because it helps uh, set the lipstick so it doesn't go all over the place. Okay, so many of you are probably wondering why I did the lipstick first. It's because I'm going to apply, obviously, my blush and I don't want to apply too much blush and then put on the red lipstick. And I look like a complete clown, which I know I do already. So, I went ahead and did that first. So, I'll over apply. I honestly like how it looks better with red lips than, than with the green lips. Um, at the end of the video, I will post a picture of how I looked when I did it with uh, green lips. Cause I had, and it was, it's funny because I did it just for a regular day at school. I walk onto campus and people were just staring. And I had the green lips and all. And they just staring at me. Like, look at this crazy woman. And I went to class at night. So they over here looking at me like, I just came out of some kind of drag show. Quite personally, I think drag queens are the best at applying makeup, I swear. I love how they do their face. I simply, simply love it.
See, now what I'm applying actually isn't a blush. It's a bronzer. But I'm using it as a blush. It's like blush and contour at the same time. Okay, at this point I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I don't wanna apply too much makeup. Um, because I can't tend to do that. So this is how it looks. All in all. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a super easy, super fun uh makeup look. Um you really do have to be daring to pull it off. Um is me personally, I don't care. As long as I have something that matches, I would go out to the street like this. Minus the lips. I would go with a, a new lip. So all the tension could be focused on the eyes. Um, if you really want to intensify the look. Then I would suggest applying glitter. Um, over the eyes. But the same color glitter as uh, the colors that you have there. So orange, yellow, and and, uh, and green. Or only put, apply glitter to the blue. And that will really make your eyes pop out there. Um, another way to intensify the look is to add B, uh, stones, so gems, all up on, on the following the red line. That really helps intensify the look as well. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the look. I hope you had fun. Uh, please stay tuned and watch more of my videos as they will be coming um, shortly. And uh, yeah, any comments, leave them below. Subscribe up above. And thank you for watching Creatively and Sam.